Intelligence cannot be measured by marks and salaries. In fact, there are people who are intelligent, but don't look intelligent at all. This is called the Dunning-Kruger effect. We will talk about this in the fourth point. So let's learn about nine such signs that can scientifically prove how intelligent you are. The first one is sense of humor. If you think you can make others smile with your words, then no one sitting around you can stay sad for long. So congrats. This is a sign of an intelligent mind. In a study published in 2011, some psychology students were given a test in which their IQ and intelligence were checked. After that, they were asked to write captions for some cartoons. When researchers looked at the correlation between the two studies, they found that those whose captions were more funny had a higher IQ, meaning those students who were more intelligent wrote those captions in a more humorous way. This shows the direct connection between intelligence and humor. Second, you're a night owl. If you are often judged for not sleeping on time at night or for staying up late, and not just that, if you think you are thinking about something or you do it late at night, your brain focuses more. And sometimes even if you try to sleep on time, you still can't sleep and your brain is actively thinking about something. So again, this is not a problem, but a sign of an intelligent mind. If we take this study from 2009, more intelligent people have this pattern that they stay up late and work. One reason for this is that there are less distractions at this time, because of which the focus we have on something is more effective at night. And you will see this habit in authors, artists, content creators, and other creative people. Third, you're a procrastinator. If you procrastinate on everything and postpone today's work for tomorrow and tomorrow's work for years and a lot of time passes by and you can't even start working, this may sound bad for productivity, but for mental intelligence, this is a positive sign. This increases your chances of being creative and imaginative. Although this may delay you in achieving your goals, this habit is a sign of mental intelligence according to many studies. An American psychologist and author, Adam Grant says, procrastination is such a powerful tool that is used by innovative thinkers. According to him, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, the founders of Apple, were able to start an innovative company because of this habit. Generally, we consider procrastination as laziness, but procrastination means waiting for the right time. Fourth, you doubt your intelligence. Everyone wants to look and be intelligent, but a lot of people think they know very little. They always look at themselves with doubt. They think everyone in the world is more intelligent than them and more knowledgeable than them. And this thought sometimes reaches the point where they even hesitate to talk to others because they are too shy. And this is what leads to the inferiority complex. If you have ever experienced this, then don't worry, there is good news for you. In 1999, two social psychologists, David Denning and Justin Kruger, found in a research that people who know less, who have less ability, always overestimate themselves, present their knowledge in front of others, and consider themselves the most intelligent. But on the other hand, people who know always doubt themselves, question their knowledge, and think they know very little. So if you ever get worried that you have very little knowledge, then you should know that this thought is very common among intelligent people. Fifth, your reader. Our mind needs a fuel to become intelligent, and that fuel is reading. People who take time to read books their brain is by default more mature and intelligent. Warren Buffett's 80% of his time goes to reading books. Bill Gates reads at least 50 books in a year. Similarly, Indian entrepreneurs like Ritesh Agrawal and Kunal Shah encourage reading more. As you might have heard, a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. A man who never reads lives only one. Six, you worry a lot. Let's say you work in an office. One day your boss comes to everyone and tells them about your shortcomings. You feel very humiliated and depressed. Now, in such a situation, everyone has two options. First, they go home and forget everything and enjoy their evening with their family. And the next day when they go to the office, they see how they can improve. But the second option is that whatever happened in the office, you keep thinking about it. The same things keep going on in your mind and your mind can't focus anywhere else. So you worry about everything or overthink. Although it's not good for mental health, some studies suggest that people who are worried about everything have a higher verbal intelligence than others. Seven, you took music lessons. In 2011, two groups of children were studied. One group took music lessons and the other group never took them. It was found that those who took music lessons in childhood had a higher verbal intelligence than others. 
The simple reason for this is that when we learn music or play it, both the emotional and logical parts of our brain are very active. Because while playing music, we have to take care of emotions, and our brain is also looking at the complicated calculations of the rhythm. So, if you have ever taken music lessons and have learned it seriously, then it is a sign of your brain being intelligent and smart. 8. Curiosity If you are one of those who always want to be informed and updated, and do not hesitate to ask when you see something new, but are always interested in learning new things, always try to find answers to new questions, then it means that your mind's CQ is very high, and it is a sign of a very intelligent and hungry mind that always wants to learn new things. According to an article published in a recent review, people who have a high CQ also have a high EQ and IQ. So if you have ever been asked a question outside the class, then it is a sign of being intelligent and not a duffer. 9. You always find shortcuts. An American author and consultant, Frank Gilbreth once said that people who are a little lazy can be your best employees and can easily do a difficult task. Suppose you are in the office and your boss asks you to write an important email and your keyboard breaks. Then people will wait for the keyboard to be replaced and ask someone to write the email from their computer. But the person who knows how to use shortcuts will write the email as soon as possible. He may do some parts with voice typing, some with a virtual keyboard or some with a simple template. So if you have the skill to use shortcuts, then it is a sign of being creative and intelligent. These were the nine signs. If you have 50% of them, then your IQ level can be higher than normal people. So share this video with people who doubt themselves but are actually intelligent. Please subscribe to our channel.